Top 10 Historic Battles That Shaped Military Strategy On 10, the Battle of Salamis, 480 BC. The Battle of Salamis was a naval engagement during the Greco-Persian Wars, where the Greek city-states, led by Themistocles, defeated the Persian fleet commanded by King Xerxes I. The battle took place in the narrow straits between the island of Salamis and the mainland of Attica. Themistocles used the narrow straits to his advantage, allowing the smaller, more agile Greek triremes to outmaneuver the larger, more cumbersome Persian vessels. The strategic positioning of the Greek fleet in the tight confines of the strait reduced the effectiveness of the superior numbers and size of the Persian ships. The victory at Salamis demonstrated the effectiveness of combined arms tactics and naval maneuver warfare, marking a turning point in the Greco-Persian Wars. It significantly weakened the Persian fleet and shifted the power dynamics in favor of the Greek city-states, leading to the eventual expulsion of the Persians from the Greek mainland. Nanonai, the Battle of Cannae, 216 BC. The Battle of Cannae was a significant engagement during the Second Punic War where the Carthaginian general Hannibal defeated a much larger Roman army. Hannibal's innovative tactics and understanding of terrain allowed him to encircle and destroy the Roman forces effectively. Hannibal used a classic double envelopment maneuver where he lured the Roman forces into a vulnerable position and then encircled them with his army, systematically annihilating them. This battle is often studied in military academies as a prime example of maneuver warfare and the effective use of numerical superiority. The Battle of Cannae not only demonstrated the brilliance of Hannibal as a military strategist, but also influenced later military thought on the importance of adaptability and terrain in battle. No. 8. The Battle of Waterloo, 1815. The Battle of Waterloo was fought between Napoleon Bonaparte and the Seventh Coalition, which included British, Dutch, and Prussian forces. This battle marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars and the decline of Napoleon's empire. Napoleon initially sought to use his tactical prowess to break the lines of the coalition forces. However, the Allied forces utilized defensive positions and superior communication networks, allowing them to effectively counter Napoleon's movements. No. 7. The Battle of Stalingrad, 1942-1943 the Battle of Stalingrad was one of the most significant and brutal battles during World War II. It was fought between the German Sixth Army and the Soviet Union in the city of Stalingrad, present-day Volgograd, Russia. The battle was marked by fierce urban combat and a strategy of attrition. The Soviets used a combination of encirclement tactics, combined arms warfare, and resilient defense to wear down the German forces. Note 6. The Battle of Midway, 1942. The Battle of Midway was a decisive naval engagement between the United States and Japan during World War II. The battle demonstrated the effective use of aircraft carriers and intelligence gathering in modern naval warfare. The United States Navy, with limited information about Japanese intentions, managed to turn the tide of the Pacific War through superior intelligence and tactical acumen. The U.S. Navy had cracked the Japanese naval codes and was able to anticipate and ambush the Japanese fleet. No.5. The Battle of Gettysburg, 1863. The Battle of Gettysburg was a turning point in the American Civil War, fought between the Union and Confederate forces. It was the largest battle of the war and saw the Union Army effectively defend its positions against the advancing Confederate forces. Union General George G. Meade effectively used defensive terrain and strategic positioning to counter the aggressive tactics of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. No.4. The Battle of Hastings, 1066. The Battle of Hastings was a pivotal engagement between the Norman forces under William the Conqueror and the Anglo-Saxon army led by King Harold II. The battle marked the beginning of Norman rule in England and had a profound impact on the subsequent course of English history. William's use of combined arms tactics, including the integration of cavalry, infantry, and archers, allowed him to breach the Anglo-Saxon shield wall and secure a decisive victory. Note 3. The Battle of Verdun, 1916. The Battle of Verdun was one of the longest and most brutal battles during World War I, fought between the French and German armies. The Germans aimed to weaken the French army by launching a sustained assault on the fortified city of Verdun, expecting a quick victory. No. 2. The Battle of Agincourt, 1415. The Battle of Agincourt was a decisive engagement during the Hundred Years' War between the English and French forces. The battle was characterized by the effective use of the English longbow, which allowed the English army to defeat the numerically superior French forces. King Henry V of England used the longbow, along with a defensive position and disciplined formation warfare, to inflict heavy casualties on the French knights. 
Number 1. The Battle of Thermopylae, 480 BC The Battle of Thermopylae was a famous engagement during the Greco-Persian Wars where a small force of Greek city-states, led by King Leonidas I of Sparta, held off the vast Persian army under King Xerxes Thorus. The battle took place in the narrow pass of Thermopylae, where the Greeks were able to utilize the terrain to their advantage.